Hi guys, yeah, this time I want to show you my impressions from the partial floodings in Flensburg, Germany due to a storm with wind direction mainly from the east and yeah, as you can see here, this is a small street um, that's quite near the Flensburg Fjord and here it already starts to rise with the water level but it's moderate, but it's too deep to walk through, uh, especially when you don't want to get cold feet or wet shoes, whatever. And that's quite near the place you've seen before, but it's obviously more busy. And yeah, you can see the water is quite deep. And you should keep in mind that this water here is seawater, which has quite a bit of salt in it and that's yeah, good for corrosion so yeah I think one of the drivers here will have the fun in yeah two or three years with corrosion yeah and that's a bit more ahead here another crossing where the water starts to yeah accumulate but yeah, it's just <laughs> just a kind of puddle here, so nothing serious right now. Yeah, but now it's uh, about noon, 1 p.m. And the water level is yeah expected to rise quite drastically yeah, later in the evening. Yeah, and that's... Uh, popular place quite next to the harbor and you can you can see the harbor in the background there and yeah <laughs> the water line has crawled towards us because the usual coastline is where you see the ships in the background and as you, as you see there are other spectators here because yeah, it's one of the highest floods within 100 years, so it's quite rare that the water level rises like this. Yeah, and the storm is still active as you can hear. Yeah, there you can see the ships in detail. That's where the usual coastline is. And you already see some waves here, just small ones, but yeah. <laughs> There's another street next to the harbor. That's quite the same picture. It's just interesting to see how far the water level rises here. But yeah, at least the first floor of the houses um, are not flooded right now. And yeah, that's where the historical harbor is. And yeah, <laughs> here it is as well, all underwater, right? So it's flooded. There are barricades placed here <laughs> to keep um, yeah, cars from driving into it because that would and badly because yeah the water is quite deep here and salt water and the engine and the electrical compartments inside the car that doesn't match look how the wind pushes the water inside here That's directly at the harbor, or at the Flensburg Fjord. Yeah, a lot of water. The coastline is there where the ship, the white ship is. Quite impressive. Oh, and there's a TV crew reporting about the flooding and the storm. <laughs> placed themselves yeah quite near to the water nice waves here so 
<laughs> yeah, we have a new shoreline here. Oh yeah, and maybe someone should have moved the excavator there, because yeah, it's quite nicely there in the shoreline. So salt water, mm, not good, not good. Yeah, that would be a nice <laughs> wash if you have a seat on this bench here. But if you are prepared with a dry suit, nothing can stop you. Except the TV crew that's in the way. And the TV crew is in the water already. Yeah, that's later in the evening. It's about 7 p.m. right now. And you can see, yeah, uh, the water level has risen quite drastically because in the evening um, the water line was at the end of the White House at the left side. You see there? That's where I, or uh, well, that's the corner where I made the first recordings and there was just a puddle. Yeah, and you can see there, that's the fire department heading to an emergency maybe another electrical installation that gets underwater and makes shorts and that's yeah the place where where I made the first recording but I can't get to the same point of view because yeah it's underwater already as you can see this car yeah half of the wheel is underwater and yeah, also the lower edge of the car. So I don't think that this is a good parking spot. Hey dude, can't park there, mate. Yeah, and that's the next street further away from the harbor. And also here now it's underwater. At the evening, this was tr completely dry. And you see there is another car and the driver should have moved it. Cause, yeah, the water's quite high and here it ends. And a bit further away from the harbor, that's where the water line is currently. <laughs> You can see the leaves on the surface moving in the wind. And back there, far, far in the background, there is this electrical installation, which yeah has caused a short. But yeah, this part you see uh, still has power. Yeah, it's raining quite drastically. That's not helping really good. Water from the sea, water from above, water everywhere. Yeah, that's at the bus station, at the central bus station. And yeah, even here, the street is under water. That's the end there. That's the new shoreline currently. But as you see, it's not too deep. The cars can still get through there. Okay, that's... <laughs> Still quite okay. Yeah, and at the bus lane there, there's just a bit of water on the street, so that's not an issue. Yeah, and even the street here, 
The water has creeped into the street. I've never seen that before. That the water comes here. So it's really amazing to see. Ah, there's a bike riding through the seawater. <laughs> but if you do that, you must be really sure where you go, because there could be an open sewer or something like that. Yeah, but Obviously, all is good. And here is still. And another still. And yeah, even the police has moved their cars away from the shoreline to have them try and usable. And here another still. It's quite impressive where the waterline has risen to. And in this still, you see that this part of the town also has no power currently because of short circuits due to the salt water. All right, if you're not already a valued subscriber, you can now become one. Usually on my channel, you see, yeah, content of my Vespa pigs and electronic projects and other stuff as well, like this video. Just join the community. I really appreciate if you take a look on my links in the description where I also listed the products and my tools, of course. So I wish you a great day and I will see you next time. Bye bye.